Hey, I want to give a big shout out to the new subscribers to the K9AT YouTube channel. So thank you very much. So people always ask me, so why do you participate in POTA, Parks on the Air? And I have to be honest with you, lately I've become POTA possessed. Initially, when it was created in 2018, I didn't see what the big deal about POTA was, but now I understand. And today, I'm going to give you my five reasons why I do parks on the air, from the least important to the most important. Now, these are my opinions, and I'd like to hear from you in the comments below. How would you rank these five POTA criteria? Starting out at number five, earning certificates, or as they call it, chasing paper. If you visit my QRZ page, which is possibly the longest in history, you'll learn that I am not a competitive person. I've never felt the need to accomplish anything in ham radio because, after all, I feel it's a hobby rather than a sport. And when I hear radio sport, I cringe. But... All hams have different motivations for doing the ham radio, so I can't fault them. Recently, they added new POTA destinations or parks on the air places to set up. So being the first activator, well, it would be nice for nostalgic reasons, but I was more anxious to check out these new parks because I was looking for new places to visit or places to activate. And when I'm home, if I run across a POTA station calling CQ on the air, I'll answer them to support their efforts because, after all, I'm sometimes the activator in the parks, so I really appreciate the hunters. Number four, working a pileup. It's actually kind of fun and skill building to try to pick the calls out from all the chaos. Typically, the contacts trickle in one by one, but when the hunters see my spot on the POTA page, they come running. I imagine this is what it's like to be a DX entity, but being stateside. Ironically, some foreign countries are in the pileup, but since they are weak, you really have to listen for them closely, but they're out there. Finally, working a pileup sharpens your radio skills using the various filters built into the radios to hear all the stations. Number three, we're halfway through our list. Testing new radios, antennas, and other various hardware. Sometimes when the bands are great, you, know, you can operate QRP, and this is exhilarating, but other times you will need that 100 watt radio. And that's why I bring both to make sure it's a successful activation. By the way, a successful activation is establishing 10 or more contacts. Operating portable allows you to test out new radios and antennas, but on a smaller scale, and when you return home, you can apply what you learned. I get a kick out of dabbling with antennas that I see on the YouTube channel with YouTubers providing reviews on the best practices and experiences with different radios and antennas. Then I see if I can duplicate them on my next POTA activation. I'll even set up two antennas then with a coax switch, test out which one works better, and then try to understand why. I realize this will involve a lot of work, so this isn't a quick POTA activation that you're going to do after work. It's almost like setting up a mini field day station. Some hams will activate from their cars in the parking lots, of various parks, you know, for the quick activation. I'll do that when the weather is inclement or in winter. Otherwise, in the other three seasons, I'll set up outside and have a blast doing it. Number two, meeting great people with the common interest of engaging in parks on the air. I tell you what, I've met a lot of polite hams with their call signs becoming familiar because of my activations and running into them a number of times. POTA is not a contest. I repeat, 
Poda is not a contest. I cannot stress that enough. Because we're not in a contest situation, we give honest signal reports. It's not 59X, 59X, 59X. If I receive a single reply to my CQ, I'll go back and forth with that person, exchanging signal reports and call signs, obviously. But if they've got great audio, I'll tell them or ask them about their station or whatever. And I'm going to keep that to a limit of two or three back and forths. But if there's a pileup, I will be respectful to the other hams that are waiting to exchange call signs and signal reports. And that's how I roll on POTA. And finally, we've reached the number one reason why I do Parks on the Air or POTA. Enjoying the beauty of nature. In fact, the pictures you're viewing are from some of my park activations. As a seasoned camper, I really enjoy getting out in nature, and so I'm familiar with camping. But blending a radio with Mother Nature, well, it doesn't get any better than this. It adds a whole new dimension to the camping experience. Many of the POTA destinations are state campgrounds and national parks, but in addition, Parks on the Air has added designated wildlife refuges that I would normally not visit because they are not a place to camp. And while these wildlife refuges are day trips, they can be accessed from a campsite too with a short drive. And since these are not campgrounds, these wildlife refuges are places I would normally drive by when I was traveling down the highways and interstates. In order to get to these places, they are off the beaten path, but well worth their discovery. They are very scenic with lakes, rivers, rolling hills, forests, and vast savannas. I've traveled throughout the Midwest so far, but I'm looking forward to seeing all the scenic beauty across America and possibly the world, too, since Parks on the Air is an international organization. Well, this concludes the top five reasons why I participate in Parks on the Air. So what do you think? Do you agree with my organization, or would you like to shuffle the deck? This might sound like an advertisement for Parks on the Air, and it really is. But more importantly... It's an advertisement for amateur radio in general. It's one of the many activities a ham can participate in and what keeps me interested in this hobby, even after having been licensed for over 47 years. Hey, if you like this video, please click that bell and like and subscribe to my channel to receive notifications for my future videos. Finally, from... Wayne's World. Instead of party on, why not poda on? 7-3.